What is up guys, Kevin over at Legros coming back at you with another video. We are just gonna continue through these boxes of this enormous haul, uh, the, <laughs> another haul uh, that I gotten of these gigantic U-Haul boxes anyways, of uh, sealed vintage stock, which is just one of my favorite things on the planet uh, to go over. So I'm really excited to show you some of these sets. Um, if you guys do want any of these, of course, my store is always available. That is stores.ebay.com slash legbros. You can always contact me on Instagram as well. That is legbros with a zero instead of an O, uh, because legbros was taken, apparently. I don't know how. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and get started with these. Uh, comment below what your favorite uh, set of the video was, and we're going to go ahead and uh, get started. Uh, it is six... Uh, sorry, 6429 as I can speak. Uh, this is the Blaze Responder. This is just a little fireboat uh, from the old Lego System City Center, which I think is a little bit older than the original city uh, or town sets anyways. This is probably like the beginning of city would be my guess. It does say that it really floats. <laughs> so I know there's a whole bunch of those does it float, um, you know, videos on YouTube. And apparently this one, it sure does. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let's go ahead and put that aside here. We'll just go through as many sets as we can through this video to make it palatable, and then we'll probably... I'm mean, guessing this whole box will probably be about two, because it's stuffed to the brim and it's huge. Uh, this next one we have is a Life on Mars set. This is the Recon Me Mech RP. Uh, this is 7314, 194 pieces, and this had the little tiny... Looks like it has a little droid in there as well. Uh, never seen any of the Life on Mars things, never built any of them, um, so I'm guessing they probably came out in the late 90s, early 2000s would be my guess, just based off of that. Um, this is new and sealed in box as well, so uh, we can see the push tabs have not been selected there, so pretty easy to tell that that one's new. Next up we have two of these, I think there's actually more of these, but we'll get We'll see if they're actually, if they show up. Uh, but this is just a spaceman with a satellite, it looks like. Um, this was obviously not bought in, in the U.S. This person that I actually bought the collection from uh, was not from the U.S. originally. Uh, they live here now, but they weren't originally from there, so I'm th guessing some of this stuff came from them, uh, or some from, from abroad anyways. This is 6458, and it's just a really cool looking satellite. Uh, I've never seen any of these pieces before, or stickers, so I thought that was really cool. It has this gold dish on the top, too, like that gold kind of moon looking piece there. So really cool little tiny sets there. Next up we do have, it's a little bit smashed on this one, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, we do have the 6474 wheeled front shovel. Uh, this is from City Center as well. Uh, not much to say about that one, just a, one of the beginning tractors. Kind of a cool face print uh, on there. I haven't seen that face print before at all either. I should have brought two boxes so I could load them back into a box. This is a classic. Uh, you'll see a lot of the really, really old Harry Potter sets in here. So if you guys are Harry Potter fans, definitely stay tuned uh, for all of the videos of this uh, enormous haul. Um, this one was the Snape's Classroom uh, set. We have the glow-in-the-dark Snape here, and then a whole bunch of uh, obviously cool figures. We do have Peeves the Ghost, and then we do have Ron with his yellow-faced uh, version there. What's on the back here? Not much. <laughs> Some cool books. So, yeah, it's actually a decorated book too. Mushrooms and stuff like that. So a really cool Harry Potter set, obviously in perfect condition, which is really fun to see. Next up we have a Star Wars set. I told you it was all over the place. Uh, we have set 7143. This is the Jedi Starfighter. Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter. You can see his yellow face Obi-Wan there and the top of the droid. That's not actually his droid. So I'm not sure why that one, maybe that was the only red one, the red build that they had. Um, but his is dark red. Uh, maybe that changed, I don't know. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I don't remember Obi-Wan having a dragster uh, thing. But, you know, apparently if you want to do that, you can. Totally free, free to do that. Gotten that one several times before. Next up, we have two of the promo sets. These were the 3731. This was a pumpkin patch, I think as it was called. It's just a little jack-o'-lantern build uh, that you can build with all these pieces. So that's kind of a cool little thing. Uh, there was two of those in there. Next up, we have a classic, uh, the lightsaber duel with uh, Qui-Gon Jinn and with uh, Darth Maul there, 7101. Obviously, you can see this is still sealed and completely in box as well. Uh, a lot of these boxes were really well taken care of as well. I think this is the 1999 logo. 
but I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that's what that one is. Next up we have the 8350. This is the Pro Stunt of the Racers form here. Um, I've seen that face print before. <laughs> it's got a cool helmet though. Uh, there's not much to say about this one, just a little tiny RC car. Uh, looks like it actually does have a pullback motor, which is pretty cool for such a small set. Only 30 pieces, but it has a pullback motor. Uh, that's actually pretty neat. We'll get to some of the bigger sets in here as well. Um, I'm just scattering through the little ones that were on top. Um, next up, we do have another of the Adventurers set. Um, I think that is Johnny Thunder. That's the name I couldn't think of. I'm not sure if this one is actually Johnny Thunder, but uh, this is the pontoon plane. So just a little biplane with pontoons on it, which is super cool. Never got into the Orient ones, but they actually look like pretty cool sets uh, in terms of the build. We do see F.A. Schwartz. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a long time. Next up, we have another soccer set. This is 3403. This looks like just a fan's grandstand with scoreboard is what it's called. Uh, so you have your scoreboard and then a whole bunch of different seats. Uh, you can put on there. There was a ton of used soccer stuff, so I'm guessing all the soccer arenas and everything like that, um, they were all just in this, just a gigantic Tupperware thing uh, full of soccer stuff. So I'll have to go through that eventually as well. But that wasn't sealed. That was all um, used previously. Next up we have here the TIE Fighter 7146. This is in a mint box as well, which is really cool. Uh, we have the old style Stormtrooper there uh, that ended up having, <laughs> some of these guys ended up having the little mustaches is what it looked like. Um, but yeah, a really cool build here as well. Looks like they're kind of taking it apart. Interesting box art there. Uh, but nonetheless, nonetheless, uh, really cool. One of, uh, one of the classic TIE Fighters anyway, blue and black. Next up, we do have a LEGO Studios set. This one does have tape all the way around it. I don't know why. It's still totally sealed, but I'm guessing Ross, uh, a lot of them they got from Ross, it looks like. Um, but a lot of them actually had that, where they were just kind of, I don't know if Ross just taped them for some stupid reason. I have no idea. Uh, but this is 1381, very early set. Um, and this is the Vampire's, uh, what is this called? Vampire's Crypt uh, is what this one's called. So it had the old style, um, uh, coffin. That is actually a very valuable piece, this old style coffin. And this figure is really cool too, if you guys can see him. He's a cool looking guy. And then of course we have Mr. Vampire himself. And then the movie set guys <laughs> in there as well. This guy's chasing him around with uh, with garlic. <laughs> That's funny. And then some cool printed pieces, pieces it looks like in there too. So yeah, really cool looking classic set there. Next up we actually do have another or 7146, because one was not enough. We gotta have two. All right, and we actually have another uh, Jedi Starfighter as well, 7143. We already went through that one today. And let's go, well, actually, let's do this one first. Uh, this one is a cool one from Ross again, so you can see they taped it for some reason, even though the box is still totally sealed. Uh, punch tabs haven't been punched or anything like that. I have no idea where the tape would come from. Uh, that's just a, some person at Ross obviously just decided that they were really cool. Um, but we have 7139, this is the Ewok attack with the old Wicket and Paplu uh, and the old version of the speeder bike as well. We have the old Stormtrooper and the old Scout Trooper there as well and a little catapult. And we also have the Ewok with his little wings there too. So cool looking set for sure. And we have another uh, race. This isn't racers, but just race. <laughs> so probably different ages. Uh, we have the Turbo Tiger 6519. Uh, this one doesn't look like it has any special stuff. Uh, you have some flames in there you can put on. Oh, it has flames, little jetpacks in the back. <laughs> that's the Turbo, I guess. Um, so just a cool looking old vintage thing. Anything that's old and vintage that you haven't seen in a long time, definitely cool. And let's end you guys with a huge note here. Just to wrap up the video, boom, we have the 10174. This was the UCS ATST. This one, the seals had come undone as well, I believe. But you can't open it. Can you open it? Uh, I don't know if you can open it. 
without tearing that thing. Uh, but the seals looks like they've just come loose from age. They're not broken or cut or anything like that. Uh, but this is brand new and sealed. All the bags are sealed. You can actually open it up and check to see if all the bags are sealed, and they are. Um, this is a tremendous build. One of my favorite uh, builds, obviously, the UCS. Pretty much every UCS build <laughs> is my favorite. But so much detail, and the chicken walker was one of my favorite kind of things as a kid as well. That whole indoor thing. Uh, with the chicken walkers and whatnot. I thought it was so cool. So uh, this one is a great way to end it off. I've gotten this one. I've built it used several times. Never, ever, ever, ever gotten it brand new. So really cool to see that uh, along with the snow speeder from the last video. If you guys haven't checked that out, go ahead and check that out first and then come back to this video. Smash the subscribe button. We are over a thousand now. We've hit our goal. I think our next goal, what, it's 10,000? <laughs> Let's just do that, right? Uh, we're gaining pretty quick. We're almost at 1100. Uh, we're over halfway there, I think, to 1100. So um, that extra hundred is, is coming quick. If you guys haven't, uh, well, actually, I don't know if the, uh, <laughs> the contest will still be open by the time this airs. So I won't go into the contest, but, uh, we did do a thousand subscriber contest. We might do more, uh, of those contests once we hit other milestones and stuff like that. I haven't really decided. Um, but I do appreciate all of your love, all of your support. Check out the store, eBay, sorry, stores.ebay.com slash leg bros and check me out on Instagram. Uh, send me a message saying you like the video. Um, and that is Leg Bros with a zero. I love you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.